Cole's car. There's cameras everywhere. Better not hang around here too long. Okie day. I had to stop here just now. So, gotta replay the scene again. Good thing about Quantic Dream is that they give you many options for many scenario, different scenarios. this time. Damn. I'm not really out of sight. Psst, start the car. Live dangerously? See what happens here. What the fuck? <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, what happened? Jesus Christ, man, what the hell was that all about? I think I know exactly what that was all about. So last time the car drove out of the lot. I told you not to go, and you disobeyed me. And my camera cut you know from how there, dangerous so. dangerous that was for Cole and for you, huh, Jody? Don't you remember Kirsten's birthday party? You know what can happen with Aiden, right? Right? I wonder what would have happened if I just drove out. <laughs> I also wanted to see what happened if I didn't. <laughs> yeah, so it's like it's really up to you guys what decisions you want to make. I mean, there are multiple scenarios that you can play out which gives you a different conclusion, so... It's awesome! I don't know how to tell you this, Jody, so I'm just going to tell you. Your mom and I, we've been transferred. We have to leave the base. We really want to take you with us, but we think... Everyone thinks that it would be better for you to stay here with Professor Dawkins. Only you think that. see you whenever it's possible and when you're better you'll join us in our new home okay well I think it's for the best goodbye dear kind of bloody kiss was that, that was not a kiss that was like a not even a peck Brave darling, I know this is difficult. 
Douchebag. should have just held on to the controller and probably just killed him. <laughs> Not my father! Navajo? I messed up the controls again, damn it! Ah! Why is the sensitivity all down again? There we go.
rent. I wonder if someone will help me. What's this entrance? Is that the entrance? Not sure. I'm so sorry to disturb you. I I'm just looking for some place to spend the night, and, and I was hoping... You can't stay here. Sorry. Wait, please. It's going to be really cold tonight. I, I have nowhere else to go, and look, I promise I will be gone by morning. I told you you can't stay here. You need to leave now. No, stay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's okay. You can stay here tonight. Come in. Oh, thank you, good sir. What's your name? Jody. Paul. This is my sons, Corey and Jay. My mother, my sonny. Don't be surprised if she doesn't answer you. She hasn't spoken in years. We're about to have dinner. Would you like to eat with us? Yeah. Yeah, thank you. Well, this is awkward. We don't see many hitchhikers out here. Can I ask where you're headed? Uh... I just keep moving from day to day. I guess if I keep going long enough, I'll figure out where I'm headed. I see. Do you breed horses? Yeah. Mustangs. We also have a bunch of churros. Churros? Sheep. <sighs> we sell their wool and milk. It's not much, but it keeps us alive. Wow. You guys are really far from everything here. Hmm. My family's lived here for generations. I was born here. Probably die here. 
I tell my boys to go. I know there's nothing for them here. But, uh, they want to stay with their grandmother and me, so. <laughs> Guys are um, Navajo, right? With the name. That means the people in Navajo. That's what we call ourselves. Why can't Aiden go outside? Strange place. Don't worry. Tomorrow will be a long way from here. Good night, Ed. Good night, dear Jody. I will be watching you. <laughs> so creepy. <laughs> get up? Should I get up? Do I have to get up? I don't have to, do I? Oh, looks like I have to.
Sorry, I had to open the door. psychology you tell me to open to don't open the door I have to open the door Right now, 
absolutely creeped out. <laughs> 